This will be a real quick video just to give you some updates on the CR10 Mini. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. They also get special access to ChepClub.com. Banggood actually sent me another CR10 Mini. This time it's like the one I got from Gearbest, like this one here that I modified in a previous video. I'll put a link to that up here with a bunch of 3D prints and improvements. This one is basically the same, but there's some differences that I saw, and certainly a lot different than that acrylic-based one that they originally sent me that I did a review of this one versus that. This looks like a little bit better than what we have here, and then other things, eh, I'm not so sure. So let me show you what's different. Uh, first of all, I went through the box of parts. It's the same thing. You get a spool of filament, um, all the same thing, tools, tape. One thing I do like, they still include extra screws and T-nuts, which works great for mounting the spool holder on the back of the printer like I did here. The only thing you need to do is drill out these holes to fit the bigger screws, and then you can mount this on the back. So you got all the pieces you need other than drilling those holes versus putting it on top of the electronics box, which is where they show it. I like this mounting much, much better. Overall, though, this is not a whole lot different. All the same parts. The only thing I saw that was missing is an extra nozzle for the hot end. It would be nice if they included one. I have extra nozzles here. I'm almost positive I got it with one of my CR10s. I thought it was this one. There's no extra nozzle in this one. That's one thing that is missing. They do give you an extra Bowden tube, so I guess they think that's a problem, but no extra nozzle, which is probably going to be replaced quicker than this. The base itself, this is the same base as the Gearbest one. This is so much better than that acrylic base one that they originally sent me, but it's no different than this machine. Same six wheel base. They still got it wrapped in this plastic I haven't taken off to hold it. Um, glass bed and they have some masking tape underneath that you can put on or not put on. It's still just clear glass. That's all the same. Same brackets, everything. Where the changes are in, is in this section right here. This is the section that bolts on top of here with four screws that are in the box and then one bracket on the side here. The original CR10 has a bracket on this side as well. This one doesn't have that. I don't know if you really need it. But where I saw some changes is right away I noticed this right here. The threaded rod is sticking up higher on this guy and I put this little knob here that I found on Thingiverse so I can easily move this up and down. It's very very handy. So this makes it easier to do but I wondered why that's sticking up. Well, I noticed right away the coupling down here is different than what's on the original CR10 Mini. The original CR10 Mini had one of those continuous spiral versions. This is like two pieces. One on the threaded rod, one on the motor, and then a plastic piece in between them. I'm not sure what type of coupling this is. I've seen it before, but I'm not sure exactly what it's called other than coupling. I'm not sure if this is better or worse until I print with it. So that's, that's kind of, I don't know. And it's also clamped around the shaft and clamped around the threaded rod. No more set screws driving into the threaded rod. Those set screws tend to loosen up. These look like they might stay clamped better. So that could be an improvement. Another thing they did is some people reported getting bent threaded rods. So they've put this packing material and then tie wrapped it tight to support it. That's a great move. So this should be a straight rod. It looks good from what I'm looking at. Another thing I noticed they changed was right here on the bracket on the extruder. There's no clip here, but this one now has a clip to hold the wires. And I show a little plastic piece I found on Thingiverse that goes on here to guide the filament away from the threaded rod, because otherwise it runs real close. On that clip that I show, it has a clip for the wiring to go by, or to hold the wiring in place. So with this clip and this clip, you can now double clip the wire and keep it solid. I think that's a real nice feature. Simple little thing, but really a nice addition. Now one more thing that I noticed was the front stop switch here for the x-axis. On the original, it's just a hunk of acrylic with some standoffs. Very, very crude. The switch itself is kind of cocked in the way it's positioned. This one is very solid. It's injected molded part has a switch inside. It's a little harder to get the wires in there, but other than that, it's very, very solid. Nice design. It's also got this QR code on the front. If you read that QR code with your phone, it'll take you right to their Facebook page. Creality now has a 
Facebook page or has had it for a while to support their printers. I just joined it now that I, I saw this. And so that's how they're supporting their uh, printers. Now, after a while, though, do you need this once you've joined? So I 3D printed a Filament Friday logo that I'm going to double side sticky tape over that. So that's about it that I saw on changes on the center section. The only other thing is the electronics. Now the electronics is pretty much the same as the original, but there is a new board in this thing. It's now got a version 1.1.2. It says Creality, so it's a Creality board. The original didn't have any name on it. It's still uh, like a Melzi type board. It's got the smaller AVR chip on it, so there's not as much memory, but it's the same as the original CR10. And you can reflash it with a bootloader and put Marlin on it, which I did on mine. I haven't showed that yet, but I've done that on mine. And it's worked well. If you want instructions on how to do that, I'll put a link in the description for a guy named Chris's Basement. He's another YouTube channel, and he did a great job explaining it. I followed his advice, and I got mine to work. No problem. The only difference in the boards really is there's a connector in the center of the new one. And that connector is not... Uh, not connected to anything, but we're suspecting that it may be related to either a filament runout sensor or a height sensor for auto leveling. There's not a lot of program memory space for that, so I don't know how that'll work out, but that's what it looks like. That's about it. It's the same size power supply, 360 watts. It does have an external FET for the bed. The original did as well. When I first reviewed this versus that acrylic based one, I used the acrylic-based electronics for review. I didn't go deeper into this one. The acrylic base didn't have an external FET. This one does. And so does this, which is a really nice feature for a low-cost printer. So that's a great addition. The only other change that I saw was in the base of this electronics cabinet. My original has these rubber feet. Really nice rubber feet. The new one just has stamped metal. So that's it. And it you know slides around a little more. I like the rubber feet better, but... It was a cost savings, I guess. That's it. Those are the changes. Like I said, they could be better, they could be worse. I just wanted to let you guys know before I go deeper into setting this up. I'm going to be doing a series of videos for people getting started with 3D printing using this printer. So I'll have more videos out. I just wanted to give you guys an update if you're looking at buying a CR10 Mini. I do have a link to the Banggood one, which right now is cheaper than the Gearbest. That link actually helps the channel. And they've got a U.S. warehouse now, so you get a lot quicker. I have a couple friends who bought through that link, and they got one of these machines, and they got it like within five business days. So it was like seven actual days, so five business days, they had it at their door. Not too bad. So think about it. I don't think you can find a better price than what's in that uh, linked in that down in the description. So that's it for this one. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of these videos popping up if you want to help support the channel. A dollar a month to Chep Club through Patreon is appreciated. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.